I might convert to Islam right now. Andrew Tate has officially announced that he is now a Muslim. Firstly, on behalf of the whole Muslim community, welcome back, bro. May Allah bless you, may Allah guide you, and more importantly, may Allah protect you from the evil reaction of the people that you will inevitably face for taking that step. Speaking of evil reactions, there's two extremes I've noticed within the Muslim community. On one extreme, you have people doubting his conversion, saying that it's a marketing strategy, or even worse, that it's fake. If you're one of these people, then know that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was incredibly angered when he found out that a companion killed someone on the battlefield even after he said the Shahada because he too thought that his conversion was fake. So if you truly think that you have access to his heart and you know his intentions, then know you have committed a great evil. On the other extreme, you have many Muslims that took Andrew Tate as a role model before he became a Muslim. And now that he's actually converted, these same people are going to take him even more so as a role model. If you're one of these people, I need you to really pay attention to what I'm about to say. Many people think that when someone accepts Islam, the job is finished, everything is going to be good. But this could not be further from the truth. When someone accepts Islam, this is when their journey really starts and they will face many, many challenges. Which is exactly why Allah says in the Quran, Ahasib al nas, do the people really think that they'll be left to say, I believe, and they will not be tested? The reality is that there could be many challenges that Andrew now has to face. And of them are his brother, who loves him very, very much, could give him some backlash. His friends and his loved ones can give him backlash. He could be threatened, he could be attacked, he could learn Islam from the wrong places, and even worse, he can look at his wealth, he could miss it, and eventually be deceived by it. All of these things can either result in two things. One, it brings him closer to Allah, and from that perspective he's passed the test. And two, it could take him away from Allah, and even worse, allow him to leave Islam. May Allah protect him and protect all of us. Which is exactly why Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتِ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ You do not guide who you will, but it is Allah that guides who he wills. So to those on the other side of the extreme, who've now taken Andrew Tate as an even bigger role model, what are you going to do if he ends up leaving Islam? Are you going to leave Islam too? Which is exactly why our Iman should never be in Andrew Tate, it should only be in Allah, and it should be in the fact that Allah has given us perfect guidance that the rich and the poor accept, the weak and the strong accept, and the young and the old accept. Alhamdulillah for Islam.